Well, the central bank released its quarterly economic report today, the first in a COVID-19 stricken environment. During a Zoom press conference, the bank's governor shared that it may take some time for the economy to experience any type of revival. Cleopatra Murphy reports tonight that he also detailed measures the bank has put in place to protect the country's foreign reserves. The negative impact of COVID-19 on the Bahamian economy will be felt for at least two years. Governor of the Central Bank of the Bahamas, John Roll, forecasts the local economy will contract by more than 8% due to the global pandemic, with a full recovery not expected until 2022. In the banking sector, this means an absence of support for deposit growth in 2020, since deposited foreign exchange are normally the sources of resources that fund such build-up. Instead, it is projected that there will be a net deposit drawdown to meet some private consumption needs. This is a source of foreign exchange outflows on import spending. Next, domestic credit is forecasted to expand largely to finance the fiscal deficit. The deficit and associated government spending will also generate spending on imports. It is the combination of credit growth and deposit-based contraction that will cause the drain on foreign reserves. Rowe says this setback comes after the Bahamas was beginning to experience moderate growth in the tourism sector post Hurricane Dorian, a growth that was being felt up to February. The central bank's financial outlook factors in active policy interventions to conserve access to foreign exchange and government's ability to access deficit financing in foreign currency. Rule anticipates foreign reserves will be reduced by more than $1 billion, placing balances between $800 million to $1 billion. The reserves and protection of the fixed exchange rate are a constraint on the Bahamas. For this reason, the central bank's dialogue with the government has focused on setting upper limits on how much of the deficit financing can sustainably occur in the domestic markets. The central bank has also emphasized in the context of various advisory bodies that have been established the importance of accelerating other interim access to foreign exchange earnings, such as foreign direct investment, and positioning the economy to recover as safely and swiftly as possible when tourism starts to rebound. The central bank governor says the bank has urged the National Insurance Board to liquidate some of its external investment and bring proceeds onshore. While there's been some suggestion that the monetary policy could be used to stimulate the economy, it should be pointed out that this is not an option for the Bahamas at present. Stimulus, either through lower interest rates or relaxed credit policies, would result in increased consumption on imports, which would undermine the effort to protect the foreign reserves. While the economic uncertainty may spark concerns over the status of the country's foreign reserves, Roe says those are just about $2 billion. There is no immediate concern about the level of reserves, but that is qualified by saying that we look at the levels relative to the tools that we have to manage the use of foreign exchange. And therefore, uh, we, we, we are com confident that the Bahamas have the array of tools needed to preserve the reserves to within comfortable levels. So there, there should be no concern. But we should expect that if the contracted nature of the slowdown in the, in the economy endures for very, very long, then the measures would need to become more and more restrictive to, to, to keep the reserves at comfortable levels. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.